Hey, it's Rosemary here. How are you doing? Well, let's talk about the fact that you are, in fact, the ruler of your own universe, your own world, your own life. And yet you keep giving away your power as though other people get to tell you what you must do. And honestly, if you're being particularly honest with yourself, you are being slightly chicken. I know, it's true. And I used to be a chicken too. <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about. I had big ideas of what I kind of wanted to do, but I never actually made a commitment to create it until I had to. And I had to when I went bankrupt. I had kids and I knew, I absolutely knew that I couldn't return to work and keep living that half life that I'd allowed myself to live to date. So it became a bit of a do or die situation or more to the point, it was a do or never ever see your kids grow up basically because you're at work all the time <laughs> type situation. So I made it a must and I made my property investment management company actually work for a change rather than just dabbling out a business that never actually worked. And suddenly I found a way to work with mentors and mastermind groups, even though I was broke, there were no excuses for me anymore. I knew what I needed to do. So I got on and found a way to make it happen because I took responsibility and I chose to become the ruler of my own world. So the question for you is this, are you ready to do that yet? Or are you still in the, I'll just talk about it kind of phase? I mean, when last did you spend time in creating the life, the business that you want? Really, when last did you do it? Instead, you kind of rush straight into the day with no idea about what you really want to make happen because you think you just have to deal with whatever life throws at you. And so, yes, you get more and more of that, you know, helpless feeling inside of you that you're being carried away with things instead of being the creator of things. And so all the time, this is the thing. You are the creator and ruler of your own world and what you say goes. And at the moment you are saying that anything is going to go. Anyone can come into your world and tell you what is what. Anyone can come into your world and tell you exactly how to do things. Anyone can manipulate you into doing what they want you to do when they want you to do it. And so tell me, where did your brain go while all this was happening? I know, I know, I know, I know I'm being harsh. But there is this continuing feeling that you're not on track for the life that you're created to live. But because you're not taking it, you're not taking the responsibility really for creating it at the moment, you're staying stuck in this whole dissatisfaction and the underlying feeling that things are just not working out the way you need them to work. But this is it. You do have a choice, you know, and it all begins by taking the time to think through exactly what it is that you do want out of your life and then doing the work to create it. And at last we come to the actual real issue, don't we? You do have fancy ideas about what you want, but when you think about what you have to do to make it happen, you find yourself kind of running for the hills, metaphorically. <laughs> what you're actually doing is hiding away or running away from the commitment to make it happen. And I see that all the time in people who claim that they want this and they want that, but when faced with what they have to do to get it, it's surprising how quickly they run away or refuse to show up. And so the message they carry, the way and the means that they have to change people's lives, it stays trapped in their reluctant heads and no one gets the benefit of hearing it. And unfortunately for said carriers of said vision, they remain broke and pretty dissatisfied because you can only create wealth and be happy when you're serving someone, when you are living a life of purpose. Or maybe, yeah, you're not broke. In fact, the truth might be that you're far too comfortable, but you're certainly not happy because you know, you absolutely know that you're not on purpose. And as I mentioned, I do understand. So it might sound harsh. I do understand, but I cannot sympathize with you because if I sympathize with you, you stay there. And what is staying there doing for you? Absolutely nothing. Look here, I'm looking for the courageous, the brave, the ones who know that they're called to more. And so I reach out and ask, and so, sorry, not I, they reach out and ask for support and then they take massive action. They may feel that they cannot afford the support, but they figure out how to get it anyway. They believe enough in what they have to offer the world. Um, so they do whatever it takes to learn how to get their message out in its power. They don't allow fears and stupid beliefs get in the way of them delivering their message and they will not stop until they're doing exactly what they want to do with their life. Now, those kind of people, I kind of adore. And you could be that kind of person, don't you think? Because they're not waiting for someone to come tell them to get on with creating the life they want. They're chomping at the bit to get out there and make stuff happen. They may not always know what they're doing, but they don't allow that. Oh, I don't know how to stop them. Oh, no.
they begin anyway. Also, they take their inner world seriously because they know that everything affects everything. So they're not ashamed to talk about whatever is bothering them so that they can remain clear and free to charge forward and create their dream life. Their dreams are bigger than most of the people around them and they have stifled them. Yeah, they felt stifled before, but they're now ready to step away from the false limitations and step right into their best expression of their life. And they're no longer waiting for permission to do it. So question, are you one of those people? Are you one of those creators? Uh, or are you still kind of wimping out at the first sign of difficulty? Honey, you can have whatever you want, but you have got to want it enough to keep doing the work to get it. Everything you want is first of all created in your head, and then it's written out for you to plainly see, and then it's followed through with action until the vision becomes reality. I'll repeat that again. You first of all visualize it or see it in your head and then you write it out so that you can plainly see it and then you follow it through with action until it becomes a reality. So that's it. You don't stop till it becomes a reality. So what stage of, of creation are you at? How determined are you to be the ruler of your own world? Not that you can stop being that anyway because you are whether you're being wimpy or whether you're being powerful, okay? Now, this is the thing. If you are serious about creating the life, the business you want, rather than settling for something you really don't want, then you need to pop on over to the uh, to the business growth pack at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash toolkit. And I would say that your first step is to get into the Deliberate Millionaire by going to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash Deliberate Millionaire. Millionaire. <laughs> Project 334K is underway. This is a quest to raise up 334,000 leaders who want to make a difference and make a fortune in their lifetime. So question, are you one of us? If you are, then definitely come join me this evening for a free online workshop all about unleashing you. It's uh, You register for that at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash free masterclass. And to end, it is of course time to fight for to create the life, the business you want. Because you can, okay? You really, truly can.